Hello everyone. Welcome to this fifth video in the series of graph theory. This video will talk about graph isomorphism. We will see the definition for graph isomorphism and few examples to verify if the given graphs are isomorphic or not. Come on, we will get into the definition. What are meant by isomorphic graphs? Say suppose we are having two graphs, a G1 and G2. They are said to be isomorphic to each other if there exists a one-to-one -one correspondence between the adjacency of the vertices. So, if I am able to establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between the adjacency of the vertices of the given graphs G1 and G2, then I can call these two graphs to be uh, isomorphic to one another. So, in which case, what are the conditions or the things which we need to check for? Number one, we need to check for the number of vertices. vertices. So, if your G1 and the G2 have the same number of vertices. Number two, if they have the same number of edges. So, are the number of edges of G1 the same as that of the number of edges of G2. Next, is there a correspondence, one-to-one -one correspondence of adjacency of vertices? One-to-one -one correspondence of adjacency of vertices, adjacency of vertices in your graph G1 and the graph G2. Is these three things are going to be true, then we say that G1 is going to be isomorphic to G2. Now, let us have an example. What we have over here is a square A, B, C, D. You can view this as holding a uh, rubber band with your uh, four uh, fingers. Uh, and now, if you are going to just twist one of your hand alone then your two fingers get flipped and now you have a bow kind of structure that gets developed with u v w x so as such the graph of a b c d and the graph of u v w x represented by g1 and g2 are going to be one and the same just that their positions are now being changed but still their neighbors are going to be the same as that in their original copy so in which case we can call these two quantities to be isomorphic graphs or isomorphic to one another so now we can see that number of vertices how do we denote the number of vertices as? Number of vertices is denoted as, this is going to denote the cardinality. Cardinality of G1 of V must be the same as cardinality of G2 of V. So what is the cardinality number of vertices that is going to be equal to 4 in both the cases? 1, 2, 3, 4 as well as 1, 2, 3, 4. So number of vertices is the same. Next, we check the cardinality of the number of edges of your G1 must be the same as cardinality of the edge set of your G2. And how many edges are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and over here E1, E2, E3, E4. So, this is also going to be 4. And now, how to go about this one-to-one -one correspondence? My neighbors must be having the same amount of degree in the copy of the graph also. Now, A, if I am going to consider and I am going to consider U, who are the neighbors of A, B and D? Who are the neighbors of U? It is going to be B <coughs> and the other neighbor is going to be X. Now, B has degree to be equal to 2 and this neighbor over here V also has degree to be equal to 2. Here my D has degree to be equal to 2 and the neighbor of U which is going to be X also has degree to be equal to 2. Now if I take a neighbor of B who is the neighbor of B apart from A it is going to be C. Now C also has a vertex of degree 2 and <coughs> over here X 
neighbor who is W also has degree of the vertex to be equal to 2. So now we see that the neighbors are also having an exact number of copy of degree of vertices as that of your G1 in your G2 also. In which case we call the two graphs to be isomorphic to one another. We will move on with the second example. Say suppose this is going to be my graph G1 and this is going to be your graph G2. Now we will set for G1 of V. So how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the number of vertices over here G2 of V also has 5. Now the <coughs> edge set E how many edges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is going to be 7. And how about your G2 of E? How many edges are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Over here also we have 7 edges. And now how about the degree sequence? U1 is going to be of degree 2. U5, 1, 2, 3 is of degree 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is going to be of degree 3. 1, 2. This is of degree 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 of degree 4. So when we consider the degree sequence of your G1, we have it to be 2, 3, 3, 2 and 4. Let us check what is going to be the degree sequence of your G2. Now V1, 1, 2, 3. Next 1, 2, 3. Next here we have 2. 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3. So the degree sequence of your G2 will be 3, 3, 2, 3, 3. Now we notice that from over here there are going to be 2 vertices of degree 3. But over here, we have 4 vertices of degree 3. Similarly, we have 2 vertices of degree 2. But over here, there is only 1 vertex of degree 2. Here, we have a vertex of degree 4. But we don't have anything of that sort over here. So, this cannot be copied in a similar fashion to that of your G2. So, we say that the sequences of your vertices is not going to match. So G1 is not isomorphic to your G2. <coughs> if any of the first few quantities violates itself, we can conclude it's not going to be isomorphic. Now let us move on with the third example. Now let me make this as my copy of G1. And this is my G2. Now, first we will begin with cardinality of G1 of V. Number of vertex is going to be 5. And number of vertex over here is also going to be 5. And how about the number of edges? Total number of edges E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7, E8. So we have totally 8 edges over here. How about G2 of your E? And now we have it to be A. Let me have this as B. This line as C. A D. E. F. And G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And let me name this as e f g h so here also we have eight copies of it and now we will write what is going to be the degree sequence the degree sequence of your u1 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 so the sequence of your degrees in g1 is going to be 3, 4, 2, 4 and 3. 
let us check with the degree sequence of your G2. Now V1 has 1, 2, 3. V2 has 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 4. So the sequence over here is 3, 2, 4, 3, 4. There are going to be 2 copies of 3 and here also 2 copies of 3. Next we have 2 copies of 4. Here also there are 2 copies of 4. There is a copy of 2 and there is also a copy of 2. Now the degree sequences matches. But we must not stop over here. We need to find out which vertex is going to be adjacent to which vertex in the copy of G1 which is going to be isomorphic to G2. So that will what we mean by one to one correspondence. So the neighbor of your U1 having the same degree must be available in your G2 also with the same criteria. So in which case let us begin with your U1 which is going to be of degree 3. Over here, let me dig in with V1 which is going to be of degree 3. U1 is going to be adjacent to U4 of degree 4. So, let me mark it as U4, sorry U2 which is of degree 4. Now, I need to find a pair of V1 who is having the same number of degree as 4 and is also your neighbor. Who is it? So, I can make this as V5. V5 going to have degree 4. Next, I have taken U1, I have taken U2. Let U1, U2 has neighbor as U3. So, this is going to be U3 which is going to have degree to be equal to 2. Now, I need to find a similar neighbor for my U5 in my graph G2. Is it available? Yes. For my U5, who is going to be the neighbor who is having degree 2? That is the vertex V2. So, I map this V5 to my V2 who is going to have degree to be 2. So, now this is done. Next, U3's neighbor is going to be U4 who is going to have degree to be equal to 4. Now, I need to find a similar neighbor for my V2 with degree 4. Who it can be? Yes, I can map this to V3 which is going to be of degree 4. Now, U4 is going to have U5 as an adjacent vertex, which is going to be of degree 3. So, U5 has degree 3. Next, I need a copy of V3's neighbor to also have a degree 3. And who is it? Yes, V4 is one who is having a similar copy to that of my U5 with degree to be equal to 3. Now, we have established a one-to-one -one correspondence between the vertex adjacency of vertices in my graph G1 to that of my graph G2. If this is going to be satisfied, I can finally conclude that G1 and G2 are going to be isomorphic. So, this proves the case. So, first check for your vertex set, the cardinality of its set, check whether your sequences matches and then try establishing a one-to-one -one correspondence between the vertex sets, adjacency of vertex sets. Now, let us conclude with the last problem. Let we have a graph called as G1 and one more graph called as G2. Now, over here, the cardinality of G1 of V is going to be how many vertices? Totally 8 vertices. How about cardinality of the vertex set of G2? It is also having 8 vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How about the number of edges in your E G1? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 and 10. So, we have 10 edges in our G1. Next, how many edges are present in our G2? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Similarly, 10 edges are present in our G2 also. What is going to be my degree sequence in my G1? The degree sequence is, this is going to be 2, 1, 2, 3, uh, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, uh, 2 and 1, 2, 3. So the sequence is 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Let me check with the degree sequence of G2. So this has 1, 2, 3, a 2, a 2, a 3, 1, 2, 3, a 2, a 2 and a 3. So when we write, we start with 2, 2, 3, 3 and get inside with 3, 2, 2, 3. How many copies of 2? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many copies of 2? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so copies of 2 tally. Next, copies of 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. And over here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, degree sequence of your G1 is the same as your degree sequence of G2. But notice, you need not have to, you must not have to stop here. We need to continue to check if there is going to be a corresponding one-to-one -one correspondence between the adjacency of vertices. Let me begin with A, which is going to be of degree 2. Choose a similar one over here. Let me choose P with degree 2. A is adjacent to B, which is going to be of degree 3. Now, P is going to be adjacent to O, which is going to be of degree 3. B is going to be adjacent to your C, which is going to be of degree 2. Now, O is adjacent to which one of degree 2? If I am going to consider O, who are the neighbors of O? P, which has already been marked for. The other one is going to be R and the other fellow is going to be S. But we notice that R has degree 3. Yes, also has degree 3. So, am I able to find a neighbor who is going to be having a degree 2 in my copy of G2 for my O? Is this possible? No. I find both the quantities or the vertices which are adjacent to O are just having a degree of 3. So, this one-to-one -one correspondence of finding a vertex which is going to be adjacent to O of degree 2 is not possible. So, establishing a one-to-one -one correspondence is not happening over here. So, what is the conclusion we make? G1 and G2 are <coughs> not isomorphic. So, it is not sufficient that your degree sequence alone matches. We need to verify whether there is going to be a one-to-one -one correspondence between the adjacency of your vertices. If this is not going to hold true, then we cannot say that the two graphs are going to be isomorphic. I hope these <coughs> examples would have given you an idea of what is meant by graph isomorphism and how it can be verified among the given set of graphs. Happy learning. Keep learning. Thank you.